Hello, welcome to another Pasta Grammar. If you've seen this video here, you'll know that my previous attempts to make pasta for my Italian wife, Ava, haven't gone so well. But I haven't given up. I'm giving it another shot today. I'm gonna make her spaghetti carbonara, but I'm gonna have a little help. Today's recipe comes courtesy from Mr. Gordon Ramsay himself. He recently put out a video where he makes a spaghetti carbonara in under 10 minutes. It looks delicious to me, and it comes from the master himself, so I think I'm gonna have a hard time going wrong today, assuming I can get everything right. I have all of my ingredients ready to go here, so uh, without further ado, I'm gonna start cooking. Keep up, in, okay, let it melt. Don't break it, and just twist that around, okay? Twist that round, but don't break it, okay? One of those nice, long strands, okay? Start off with just a touch of olive oil, just a touch. Bake it in, okay? Now, it starts looking rather large, okay? I like a lot of bacon in my carbonara. I want to get that really nicely caramelized, okay? Mushrooms give it a little bit of body, and more importantly, sometimes when you just got a bit of bacon and spaghetti, you sort of look for the ingredients. But look, in, I got my eggs, okay? I want to grate some grano padano inside the eggs. Now, I said you use a little bit of milk. If you don't use any milk, what happens, the actual carbonara gets sort of very sticky, cloy, heavy, and you want a little bit of texture in there. So I'm going to grate some parmesan on top of the eggs, and then look, a nice spoon of creme fraiche. Of course, milk is fine, but it just stops the whole mixture going dry. Now look at that color. How beautiful is that? That chili. Okay, mushrooms, garlic, Chili, streaky bacon, smoked bacon. Guess what next? Some fresh peas, <laughs> fresh frozen. Look at that. And also I want a nice full portion of carbonara. It's done, as you can see. <laughs> it's sticking to the ceiling. One more test. Mm. I think we need 10 more seconds. How long have we got left to go? Add your spaghetti into the mix. This is where it gets tricky. Eggs in. Turn the gas down. And now we have to cook this out, okay? We want to cook the eggs. Parsley in, okay? Unfortunately, the recipe calls for parsley and I don't have any on me. So I am gonna have to skip that part today and hopefully Ava forgives the uh, omission. It's nice! You get the carbonara and a cornwall, God bless! Okay, I'm really excited because I think Ava is going to be super impressed with this. Uh, it's just gonna be my little secret that uh, it's a Gordon Ramsay recipe. Maybe I'll get all the credit here. And I think we are ready to eat. Hey, Ava. Ava, come here. Okay, she's coming over now. I think that looks pretty good. Ava, come here, come here. Come here. Look what I made you. Apple, what, what is that? It's a carbonara. This is not a carbonara. No, oh, come on. I, I, I made this myself. It took me a whole 10 minutes, <laughs> but I made it. We just try it. Harper, but how many times I told you, don't invent a recipe, ask me. I need to let my creativity shine. This, this is... Just try it, try it before no, you judge no. it. Try it before you judge it. Is it bad? Mama. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Tastes good to me. No, you put the garlic. Yeah, I did put garlic in. And a carbonara garlic. Yeah, I put garlic and peas. And mushroom. And creme fraiche and mushroom. Creme fraiche. And creme fraiche. Uh, do you learn to do this uh, olive garden uh, domino in a place like here in um, America? Uh, <laughs> not exactly. So you meant by yourself? Because no. <laughs> you know where I got this recipe? No. Gordon Ramsay. Are you joking? <laughs> no, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. I thought for sure his carbonara recipe would be good and better than anything I could come up with myself. I thought you would really like this. Okay, well, what's wrong with it? I don't get it. Okay, What real, did I do wrong? A real carbonara has no mushroom, has no peas, has no garlic, 
has no creme fraiche, you made just one thing right. I did something right? Yes. You avoid the parsley because in America everyone thinks that carbonara is made with parsley. No. You at least didn't put the parsley. Yes, I I I thought about that. I thought I thought parsley just couldn't go in this carbonara. Bravo. Now I know that Gordon Ramsay is this big chef, three star Michelin, but he's British. I'm Italian. And I lived for eight years in Rome, where carbonara is from. And if you want a carbonara, I show you what a real carbonara is. Okay, well, what should we do? What should we do with this one? Give this to the neighbors. I don't know. Bloody brilliance! Now, let me give this to the neighbors. Carbonara is made with guanciale. Guanciale is this part of the pork. But here in Maine it's not possible to find guanciale. So I had to buy this. That is the closest thing to Italian pancetta. I'm sorry Italian friends, but this is the only thing that I could get. Sorry. Wow, I am super impressed because not only does that look and smell much better now that we've made it, but it was even simpler to make, even easier to make, and it took less than 10 minutes, actually. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Shut up. Shut up. You can taste the Rome inside. Oh my god. You can see the Colosseum. That is so much better. Piazza di Spagna. Gordon Ramsay, dude, I'm sorry, but this is amazing. <laughs> I thought mine was creamy with the creme fraiche and everything, but this is like so silky and creamy. It's just, it, it's just incredible. It's just incredible. So now you can call Gordon and say, Gordon, come here, she will teach you how to cook a carbonara. <laughs> it's an open invitation. Alper, are you going to finish all the dishes? Yeah. Yeah, of course I am. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. We'll be back with another video soon, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, at Pasta Grammar, and we'll see you next time. Ciao! Ciao.